What is up there, Workforce? Chris here with work to game and we are going to talk about the easiest way to make a lot of money with the lowest level of effort as a gatherer. Now, it honestly comes down to supply demand. So it is really not much more complex than that, but let's think about where demand comes from so that we can be part of the best supply. So as you're leveling up, you open up all these different levels. You open up, you know, the different things. It, it's not easy to tab through and there is no easy way to just multi-search crazy amounts of things unless there is common words like log. Uh, but thankfully, log is a good one because log is a great place to start. What you want to think about is what items fuel things that are in constant demand, not necessarily things that are new or, or things that are the best. Those are a great way to make short-term money, but that market will eventually crash. What we want to talk about when talking about consistent long-term easy money is things that never go away. Uh, and so I would look at these different logs and the, the thing I would look for is in history, I would look for the fact that they sell often. The more of these, these that you can see have sold within the last week, uh, the better. And so honestly, it's going to be a volume game and look at this. 416, 416, 415, and here, uh, Petrified may be an unspoiled node based on the quantities here, I'd have to go look it up, um, but that's what you're really looking for. Uh, and so you want to kind of keep in mind at 794, and you see that it's selling like crazy oak log here. Um, it can't be bought from a vendor, so it has to be bought through you. And if we go open up our tab here and we say oak log, oak log is a level 32 thing and it's 790 a piece at level 32. If you're a level 70 in just basic level 70 vendor gear, you should have no trouble popping over to South Shroud and gathering huge, huge stacks of this. Now, if you're wondering what items outside of logs sell for a lot, here's a couple of things to think about. The first thing you want to have a list of is you wanna have a list of everything needed for lots and lots of leveling gear, especially around crafting and gathering gear, because that is something where a lot of times the quests are a little bit of a pain in the butt because you have to go get high quality of something and it's hard to make high quality when the quest is still relevant. And so what people tend to do is they tend to go in here and they tend to say, okay, well, I'll just go to um, bracelets and I'll just buy my crafting bracelets. Hollowed chestnut armillier, okay, that's made by a carpenter. Those are gonna sell to every everything, especially if we go look at like um, like a level 30 item or whatever um, for, I don't know, doesn't really matter. Um, Archer, and we press search. Uh, some of these are gonna be done with that wood. And so if you can gauge what things your market desires, that's a great place to start, but it's not a constant level of demand. Those items will take a long time to sell because while they may have value, they only sell when somebody needs them to level and they only need it one time. You're looking for repeat customers. So the next thing you can look for is leaves. Leaves are something where people are going to be turning in things a lot at a time and so it's a great thing for fishers to look at leaves um, but you want to look at things quests so quest items uh, that are needed to level up your your carpenter um, what materials take that uh, leaves that are crafting leaves that take wood for carpenter for example what what can you go gather carpenter culinarian um, what are those constant need items that the people who want to make money off selling those those leave items they don't want to go out and gather too so they're gonna be buying those off of you so go look up the various leave items that take botanist things and then just supply those and then on top of that if you can actually kind of keep in mind the grand company turn-ins, the grand company turn-ins for right here in the next mission allowance, like if these are fantastic sellers because I will absolutely pay double the price for high quality on any class I don't have level 70 as long as your price is not outrageous. Um, and so like my miner, for example, we're talking about botanist, but like my miner is not level 70. So I need ogre horn today. All right, let's go see what Ogrehorn is. I could go gather this on my miner, but like 
it could be selling for a lot. Now this one is not because it drops off all sorts of stuff, but some things are. Uh, so some things, every once in a while, one of those dailies will pop up and it'll be 10,000 a piece or 20,000 a piece um, for different items that are crafted. And those take huge chunks of botanist resources. So if I can craft something that sells for 20,000, I'm willing to spend money on materials and that's where you come in the gatherer. Uh, and so just keep in mind where the demand is. Uh, really popular glamour items can be a somewhat reliable market, but it takes you really understanding your server. So that's a little bit more advanced. And then making sure that you know when high quality is important. Uh, if we go back to logs, for example, because it lets us check a lot of markets really quickly, um, you can see that like in maple logs, the high quality will command a much higher price. People will buy it as high as 300, that's listed at 290. And so if you can go ahead and gather that at high quality, it's gonna make a big difference in that maple log. But sometimes high quality doesn't make a difference because people have been selling high quality at the same price as what the market will pay for low quality. And so it just doesn't add up. But I will say that like high quality here, 795, regular quality 175. So if you were going to go gather pine logs, I would be sure that your perception was as high as possible to increase the number of these because that is a huge difference if you can get high quality, you know, 30%, 25% of the time, 30% of the time, things like that, um, as opposed to, you know, if you're only getting it 5% of the time. So I would make sure that you're getting your perception up there uh, and I would keep track of kind of how much gill you're spending per hour or you're making per hour. And so I would look at it that way. When I'm gathering these things up, one of the issues with is that your summoning bell, when you click on your retainers, especially if you have just two retainers, which is what's provided to you, you don't pay the extra cash to your subscription to get more. I can only have 20 items listed. So you wanna make sure that those are listing for as much money as possible if you're really trying to maximize your money. So make sure that instead of gathering 10 of a lot of high priced items, gather something all the way to 99 that will sell in large quantity. Go gather logs. People will buy logs in those kind of quantities. And so go do 99 logs. 99 logs doesn't take me long at all to gather. And 99 logs, 99 times any price can really add up quite quickly. So this is the easiest way that I found to make a lot of money at Botany is to just keep in mind what items sell frequently and then just try to go gather 100 or 200 of that at a time. Um, and so if I go look at the various different types of lumber, this is a great way to kind of see lumber is where most of your logs go So like maple lumber because it sells at a vendor for nine the fact that it's at 24 is already ridiculous but if we jump up into some of these like that pine for example it's 1400 and then if we go look at high quality it's 6000 and that is why somebody will pay extra for the high quality logs because they're like oh well i can't actually sell this for 5000 i mean occasionally somebody's just doesn't understand what high quality means and they dump it but like a lot of times 9000 5000 and that is why somebody's willing to pay more for the logs because they're turning those logs into lumber and then they're selling any lumber that they don't use themselves ideally for a profit if they're not selling it for a profit it's not really your problem as long as they're buying the high quality at the price that you list it for um, so definitely diversify across a lot of items they are not necessarily the highest level items the highest level items is where a lot of people look so a lot of times there's a lot of unmet demand down in those level 30 items level 40 items um, where there's an item that gets used an awful lot and then there just isn't any source of it so the price just goes up and up and up and since the only people that typically gather it are gatherers within that level range they're only there for a short time so the demand just never really gets met and then those people never seem to find high qualities so when you have people trying to power level professions or make things high quality and use high quality ingredients to do so you having high quality ingredients available can be a huge advantage. So I hope this just kind of helps you think about this a little bit differently. Uh, if you have any tips and tricks that maybe I didn't mention, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And let's just start this conversation on like, how do people make money? Um, the problem with making money as a gatherer is you're absolutely trading your time for your money. So just make sure that you're getting as much money per hour as possible. But keep in mind that this is 100% a trade of time for money. So you want to keep in mind what is the type of gathering that other people won't do. Uh, and 
Unspoiled Nodes is great, and Unspoiled Nodes is its own subject, but it is a lot harder to just kind of AFK, sit there, and just farm hundreds and hundreds of Unspoiled Nodes. It's more of something that you have to go out with a plan to do. Uh, and so I find that gathering gathering these items makes me a lot of money. Gathering crystals, I don't keep up with the people. They're, they're just people doing it for way too cheap, and there's a variety of reasons where they're getting their crystals, and that's another subject as well. So my name is Chris with work to game Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Hey, it's me. I'm in Chris's office. He doesn't know it, but we've got other videos for you to check out right here. And we've got the vlog down there in the corner. Plus, we've got some contact information, and you can totally subscribe to the channel that way as well. So we hope you do. We hope to see you in our next video. But until then, take care.